Okay, 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 okay. Let me turn this music down and roll my window up a bit. The weather is so crazy in Maryland where I live. I don't, like one minute is I got the heat on, the next minute I don't. I haven't turned the air on for the season yet because it's, it's been really cool going into the the summertime season, which is not the summer yet, but... You know, the summertime come with cancer season. If you guys can't remember when the seasons change, all you got to do. Oh, I should have went for gas first because I need to turn the air on. All you got to do is think of when the, the cardinal zodiac signs come in and, and when those uh, zodiac signs change. And there are your seasons. So anyway, let me turn the music all the way off. So anyway, so I don't need to hear that hip hop shit. Where's well, the smooth listening? Anyway, there we go. Is this Brian McKnight? I don't know. But anyway, so let's talk about... I'm rushing down here to get me a smoothie from Tropical Smoothie Cafe because that's about to be my dinner because, you know, it's vacation plans, it's beach plans, it's bay plans. I get this little this little 10, 15 pounds off. You know what I mean? Wait till late in the season. The sister been eating good. So anyway... I want to talk about the zodiac signs that I love. And actually, that's probably not an appropriate title for this card chat. I haven't did a card chat in a minute. So, y'all know we can. We can card chat for a little bit. Oh, my God. I got wrote in my window. It's warm. And it's crazy because it's been so cold today. We've had rain all weekend. And all of today, it was raining. And I think, like, <clears throat> right around 4, 3, 4, 5, 3, 3, 4 o'clock or something like that, the sun wants to come out. And now when I come back out, it's like humid out here. It's kind of warm. I can't be in the car without the window down. But I know that's going to affect the video. So, And I need gas, so I didn't turn the air on. But let me turn the air on. And now that I told y'all enough about my personal problems and situations, and my temperature levels, let's talk about the zodiac signs that I love in this car chat. So, when I say zodiac signs that I love, this is not going to be like my favorite zodiac sign, so that's an inappropriate title. I should call this the zodiac signs I'm most attracted to. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to pause. If they play this by Rihanna, I'm going to have to pause. I don't have this on my playlist. I've had so many different playlists on different apps and stuff. And now I got this one playlist on this iPhone and this song by Rihanna. Oh, they ain't going to play that. Feel like a brand new person. A song. Um, anyway, what was I saying? So this is not going to be my favorite zodiac signs like the men and the women, the ones I tend to gravitate to my favorites or whatever the case. This is going to be the most attractive male zodiac signs to, or the, let me phrase it in the male zodiac sign the zodiac signs and you know i'm a heterosexual female if you're not you may feel the same for the same sex but these are the zodiac signs that i'm most attracted to and and i'm making a distinction between most attractive because these are not the most oh now i'm now i'm getting cold these are not the most attractive zodiac signs these are just the zodiac signs that i'm I am attracted to. Hold on, guys, because I got to, like, push people off the road, hit people for 10 points so I can make it down here to Tropical Smoothie Cafe, which is down the street from my house. Before they close at 9 p.m., it is currently 8.25, and I'm speed speeding like a demon. Anyway, so let's start. And I didn't pre-plan this out because this is a car chat, which basically means I just felt like talking to you guys. <clears throat> so I just hopped on here and started talking. And the first sign, and something else made me think of this, that I don't think I ever realized I might have been attracted to the Zodiac sign. Because one of the Zodiac signs that I'm going to say is one I never really found that I was attracted to. Well, maybe I just didn't meet, hold up, I need some lotion on my face. Maybe I just didn't meet that many of this particular Zodiac sign. So it's not the first one I'm about to say, but I'll tell you when I get to it. And the little story behind it. So number one, one of the, 
zodiac signs I'm most attracted to. And this is it. This is not in order, guys. We'll do that when we do the most attractive zodiac signs, the smartest, and all of that crap coming from Madam X's, your girl's point of view. But the signs that I had been attracted to, I'm just going to start at the top. Aries is number one, so I'm going to like go through them. And if it's not one, I'm going to skip it. But I'm just starting at the top since this is not pre planned. <laughs> now that I've mumbled on, love you too. Aries. Aries is one of the zodiac signs that I tend to be very attracted to. <clears throat> and the thing about Aries is, now I never met an Aries that I know of because, of course, probably back when I was talking to guys at 12, 13, 14, like I I had a lot male friends when I was younger than like 11 and 12 and stuff, but I couldn't be talking to no guys like that. I mean, my father just did not go for that from middle school all the way on up. And I couldn't, you know, bring no guys that I was dating or nothing in my house and so, I think the first guy I really bought in my house that I was dating like that or something was my high school sweetheart who was a Leo. And, that, and I was like 16 by the time, 15, 16. I think it was 16 by the time that was going on. So, that's why I can't think of any like boys I may have had crushes on or anything younger than 12 because I, I really couldn't talk to them like that. So, I would say once you get from out of that middle school phase on into high school, I cannot remember too many Aries that I've ever dealt with. I don't think I've ever really per talked personally one-on-one, -on -one, been involved with an Aries. Well, I have. I have, you know, when I think back on it. But I thought the guy, me and this particular guy used to be really close. And I thought he was a Taurus, which made, you know, perfect sense with me being a Cancer. But come to find out, he was actually i saw like his birthday i was scrolling facebook and i had saw somebody say happy birthday to him and it turns out he was an aries and i was like oh you know that makes sense and aries move really fast so it's like i have had crushes on aries guys and like they found out and they were interested or whatever but i think they just moved too fast for me like you know that girl that guys might like and guys might mess with but some guys are just so fast they like huh she a little too she's pretty she's cute i would mess with her but she ain't quite my speed she's a little too slow she's a good girl you know so that's how i think this one aries viewed me he was so cute in high school tall skinny kind of how <laughs> aries are and how tauruses are until later in life when tauruses get fat so it, my dad was an Aries and he was tall and slim matter of fact his nickname was slim everybody called him slim so the guy was tall slim pretty eyes all that light pretty eyes and I really used to have a crush on him and my friend used to go with his brother the brother was not as cute as the older one and he was like I think when I was in the ninth grade this Aries was in the 12th and um Eric got all the girls I mean he was just a shit and my friend told him that I liked him. He used to mess with like the white girl that would be next door to me. The fast white girl. So he knocked on my door one day because she told him. But I think at the time I was either going with the Leo or about to be going with the Leo, my high school sweetheart. And he knocked on the door and I was all shy like, hey, what do you want? Because <laughs> he happened to be at my neighbor's house. Fool I line around with the white girl so i'm like hi how are you hi <laughs> it's not like shaw saying to y'all go hi hi sorry guys i just woke up from a nap so he was like mm, that girl can't even speak two words for me hell to the no so he went away like he never tried to mess with me again during those high school days plus he graduated that same year he's a, he's three years older than me so he graduated that same year that i basically knew who he was and he came back i want to say around when i was 21 or something like that 22 and <clears throat> i think he was living around um, my old way that i had moved to with an ex-boyfriend when i was 19 and i saw him and he tried to talk to me but at that point it was too late you know, I was with somebody and, you know, Aries play that father role really good. Like those planets to me, um, like the sun, Saturn, Mars. I know a lot of people equates 
like a lot of astrologers will equate the sun to the father, um, Saturn to the father. But I believe Mars may hold some of the father energy too. Or just like the dominant tell you what to do, warrior role, male role. Because <laughs> I can remember the Aries was like, all right, well... You know, your car ain't used to look like that. Because if I was with you, you know, your car be clean. Your car be looking good. I was like, oh, burn. No, the Aries didn't try to tell me about myself and how my rinky-dink boyfriend was not cleaning my car. And, you know, he, he tried to burn me right there. A little sting. I'm like, ouch. Okay. Excuse me, Aries. Bye-bye. Have a nice life. So, anyway... That was that Aries. And I can remember, I used to really like, like the Aries I was telling you that I thought was a Taurus. These are two different people. I thought this guy was a Taurus. And all, back when I was in school, I met him like in eighth grade. All the guy, girls used to like this guy. I mean, he was just, there were two separate, there were two middle schools in the county where I grew up. And he went to the other middle school. I went to one. It was like robberies. The other middle school used to come to our middle school to like beat us up and stuff. Never me though. Never me. So I never knew he was an Aries for some reason. Well, I wasn't thinking about it that hard back then. But some, for some reason, I thought he was a tourist. And like I said, I found out recently he was an Aries. But all the girls at both schools, like whoever knew this guy, they used to like this guy it was just and it's so funny looking back i do not see what was so fine about him but he had like this really deep voice he just was bitches he got all of the girls in middle school high school it was him i mean wasn't nobody finer i mean some of the older guys were but i think he was a year older than me so like right around that age group and with the older guys he was just so freaking fine so i'll turn my car off so, and I got to get in this place before they close. I'm going to have to pause this and come back. So, he was just so freaking fine. And him and I were really, really, really close. We used to talk on the phone. You know, those are back in the nights where you stay on the phone all night. Y'all got the party line going three, four people. You calling people on three-way. You on the phone all night till your mother take the phone off the hook. And he was so fine. And I had a crush on him just like everybody else. And him and I ended up getting really tight. And, and which is funny because I've never the tightest person I've ever been and I knew was an Aries I've never had really Aries females friends like that male friends besides this one guy I'm about to tell y'all about but the tightest closest Aries I ever had to me was my dad so which was my best friend I'm a daddy's girl all the way through and through I am his favorite child everybody know that so um whether they want to believe it or not they know that in their heart so he turned out to be an Aries and he liked me. I like him, but he was fast. So he was sleeping with like, I mean, we talking ninth grade, 10th grade. He was like fucking all the girls, you know, what I'm saying? all the hot girls, you know, and you know, that's the thing when the girls. So he was in the 10th grade when I got to high school, I was in the ninth. So, you know, that's the thing when all the fresh meat come up to school, because this is where people are coming that may have went. So, like I said, it was two different middle schools, but this particular high school, everybody in those two different middle schools went to this high school. So that's when the fresh meat come in, you know, the seniors, the juniors, the sophomore, they looking, you know, that's a big thing when you go to high school, the fresh meat coming in the dough. So he was like fucking all of the good looking girls. And I couldn't, I wouldn't tolerate, like, I could just see he was the type of person He's not into, I'm a cancer. So, you know, at in the ninth grade at 13 years old, I was looking for a relationship. So he wasn't the type of dude to be in a relationship, which was cool. I respected that because I didn't mess with him. We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. I wasn't sleeping with him, but it was kind of one of those things where if he wasn't so young and fast, I would have been his girlfriend. And if I was faster, I would have been his girlfriend, but he was going with the fast, like super hot chicks. You know what I'm saying? So. It just, it wasn't, I was one of those super hot chicks, but he was going with the fast, super hot chicks, boyfriend sex, all that. And I wasn't necessarily doing that. Well, I did have a, have a boyfriend. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I may have to find out what that boyfriend, boyfriend's name was. Cause I did have a boyfriend in the ninth grade, but still through and through me and this Aries was really good friends. Like I said, we weren't like that cause he was too fast, but he just had all the girls. And it was funny to me to find out he was an Aries. So after we went through all of this, where he had all the girls we were best friends he finally you know after he burned through all his ignited passions really fast he finally realized like you know i really should be with her to referring to me 
So probably, you know, I wasn't with the same boyfriend I was with anymore in the ninth grade. And I hadn't started going with the one I call my high school sweetheart, which I started going with him, I think, in the 11th grade. So sometime it had to be when I was in the 11th grade before I started going with the Leo or while I was going with the Leo. It probably was while I was going with the Leo, because at some point in 11th, 12th grade, once the Aries graduated, he came back and he wanted to go together. He would like come to the school doing lunch break and beg me to be his girlfriend. But I just ignored him. I thought he was a sad case, just a sad, pitiful case. Like you had your chance years ago. You did what you did, which is fine because we were young, but I don't go backwards. So, I mean, it just was no going back to that Aries. All right, that's my spin on Aries. Let me go get my smoothie and I will be back. All right, I'm going to have to speed this up because I need to listen to music when I drive home. I mean, it's just how I can't. It's hard for me to be in my car and not listen to no music. And, And very rarely am I in a no music mood. Anyway. It's so nice where I live at. Anyway, so. Um, what's what to say? So, again, just reminding you guys, I'm going to go on to the next sign. But these are not the signs that are the most attractive generally to most people. Or just in general, majority of all these is just who I have been attracted to out of the signs. And my experience with males with those are the opposite sex from the signs oh i need to go to the gas station so i can talk to y'all i can talk to y'all and drive because i'm gonna go to the gas station and then i'm gonna get off with y'all after that i'll make this quick even though i got stories for days about some of these signs so at the aries i'm a cancer it's probably a lot of cancers i'm, I'm willing to bet at least 50 percent of the cancers out there or more have a tour story because that's just how shit works that's how astrology works you're attracted to certain energies certain energies are attracted to you like i bet even if you look back over your history of probably people you have dated or friends that have been in your life you will see a theme <clears throat> that they've been some of the same energies um or you've had several people in different roles in your life other than your family because you you don't you don't well you probably do choose your family before you come to this planet but just saying saying subconsciously in this once you're on earth humans don't quote unquote choose their family so you don't have a choice of those zodiac signs but i'm saying you really do because we plan it before we come to this planet but for all intents and purposes you don't pick your family but you do pick your friends and your mates and things like that and if you look back i'm sure you'll start to see like more than one sign that's been in your life or a reoccurring pattern that you're drawn to certain energies because that's just how astrology is so in friendships i mean even like i said these are these are times when at the time i would not have been paying attention to what sign a person was so like you know when i talk about Taurus, and of course i've had several Tauruses in my life as really good friends i mean we just get along the energy is a lot of the same they like home their fat ass is like food their skinny two fat ass is like food i feel like they're attractive people to me Taurus is one of the the you know we'll do the most attractive signs generally to most people but i mean come on not not that i'm trying to give it away in this video but Taurus is a venus rule sign what do you expect so me personally i tend to agree with that i find Taurus is very attractive more times than not like i said i thought that aries was a Taurus all this time but it had turned out he was actually in the aries but anyway um so I'm, I find myself attracted to Tauruses. I have had long-term bonds with Tauruses, long-term relationships with Taurus, And I really think that's all I got to say about Taurus. It just goes without saying that I, I do find Tauruses attractive. And just an example of some Tauruses. Tauruses. And mm, this pomegranate plunge smoothie with ginger is so good. Tropical smoothie need to endorse me. Oh, that shit is good. The ginger just kicks it up a notch. So... Mm. I'm trying to think of offhand. I was trying to think of like some black male Aries, so you guys can just get an example of the picture of what I'm saying about Aries. But at this particular moment, I can't think of. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart, and I can't think of any black male Aries. Maybe it's or white male Aries that are fine. I just can't think of any Aries off the top of my head. So for Taurus, um, you could think of people like. Um, 
Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. You know, he's fine and shit. And for some reason, I'm having a brain fart. Oh, y'all know who fine as a Taurus. And I don't know why he thought, I thought he was a Virgo. Um, I don't tend to be attracted to Virgos like that. So I should have known it wasn't a Virgo. But y'all know who fine is a motherfucker who always been fine to me. Ghostface. Ghostface is a Taurus. He just had a birthday the other day. And if you don't know who Ghostface is, you you too young to know. That's Ghostface from the Wu-Tang Clan. And I've always been in love. Well, not in love. I've just always really like Ghostface. I always thought he was attractive. He is one of my favorites as far as raps go. I mean, I got Ghostface. Probably out every album he had, I got it. So, um, and I just always thought he was attractive. But I would say the most attractive one to me was Method Man. And I cannot remember what Method Man's sign is for the life of me. I just knew it the other day. He could be an Aries. I completely forgot what Method Man's sign is. So, Tauruses are fine, and I just find myself attracted to Taurus. The the super long relationship I had was Taurus. Um, we just tend to agree. Now, I will say this also: you you'll also find that if at different points in your life, the zodiac signs that you associate with and um, things like that, they tend they can tend to change. So you may notice, okay, you had this particular. I gotta sit my phone down, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds far away. The police are next to me. But so you may have a, a particular group or circle of friends, say for all of your childhood or all of your life, all of your high school years, like your middle school years, you might have a set of Zodiac friends. Then you notice your high school years is, is changed. And as you get older in life, you may find yourself evolving to hang around different Zodiac signs because we grow. Our energy changes. We learn. We grow. We're here to experience things on this planet. So, you know, we change and we evolve. And that can evolve the type of zodiac signs and energies that uh, we are attracted to or that are attracted to us. So, although I don't meet a lot of Tauruses in my life now, you know, I've definitely had friends that I've hung tight with that are Tauruses. For some reason, we seem to get into it at some point. They can be very bullheaded and cancer can be very nonchalant and have their ways too. But um, I can remember back when I wasn't even thinking about Zodiac signs. My One of my best friends from middle school was a Taurus. I know that now, but I didn't realize that then that she was a Taurus. But she was like my best friend in middle school. She was a Taurus before I started hanging with a, a bunch of Leos. So that's Taurus. Next, let's do Gemini. So, I don't have a whole hell of a lot to say about Gemini. Because, as you can imagine, how Gemini's guys are and how cancer females are is not always a good mix when it comes to relationships. I think it's a great mix when it comes to friendships. I don't... People... I think people get along well with the signs in front of them or back of them. Like, the signs right there around them. The one before them and the one after them. I think people... <clears throat> do get along with either the one before them the one after them or both um i have gemini friends that i've had for over 20 years female friends um because also with them being the gemini it's very likely they'll have placements in cancer so they're going to be think cancer may be on their 12th house so it's going to be things that draw the gemini and the cancer together even gemini males never had a problem you know how some people you just don't get along with I've never had a problem with Gemini, Gemini males. We kick it off. We get along well. It's just not a good relationship mix for cancer from what I see. An example of this, and you guys may know this couple or this used to be couple or not, is Fetty Wap and um, Alexis Sky. Alexis Sky is a cancer. I believe her birthday is like around the 12th or something like that. I don't know. But she's a cancer and um, July 12th or something. Somewhere up in there in the teens. So she's a cancer and Fetty Wap is a Gemini. And you just see how tumultuous and crazy that relationship was. You see how the Gemini... And I, let me say this about Gemini men. I don't mean to dog y'all. But I know so many, like several different Gemini men who, who just have kids by multiple women. Whether they're in a relationship or whether they are not. You know what I mean? And it's funny because... Although 
Gemini women can be just as freaky or just as promiscuous. What I see from a lot of Gemini women is if you had, can meet their standards and take care of their needs, Gemini women can be very faithful. But Gemini men, that is a whole nother topic and subject and I ain't built to deal with it, okay? I ain't built for that. Get that to a Leo woman because I, I find Leo women and Gemini men get together a lot of time because you know Leo women going to ride for you whether you right or wrong, ride or die for you whether you right or wrong and they can put up with, with a lot more bullshit than the cancer because Leo got a lot of bullshit with them as well. So I can't do Gemini. I can't do it. Gemini men. But I stopped on Gemini because they're fine. They look good. Like I've definitely had several Geminis I've been attracted to. I have messed with Geminis before. But for me and Gemini, I find it more a really good sexual chemistry. A really good relationship kind of in that nature. But I can't take no Gemini male seriously. He ain't going to be out having no babies on me. Okay? Ain't going to happen. So... But Geminis are fine. Like, Dave East is a Gemini. He fine. Um, Who is a Gemini? Tupac. Two motherfucking Pac was a Gemini, and he is fine. Even if a Gemini isn't fine as far as his looks go, a Gemini might have the personality or the swag to get who he wants, even if he ain't that fine. Like, Biggie was a Gemini. Kendrick Lamar is a Gemini. And I really don't think nothing is cute about Kendrick Lamar but it's something about him that's kind of cute or kind of sexy or something like that something and I don't ask me what it is um Andre 3000 was a D- Gemini didn't everybody fucking like um Andre 3000 fine ass um and it's funny he was with his um no I'm sorry I was gonna say something else but yeah Andre 3000 was fine you know so Gemini's are one of the signs to me that have the potential to they it's it's the sexiness and i feel like there's just the, people feel the same way about the gemini female it's just the sexiness there there's an agility there which means they're good with their body they're flexible um with their body kind of like how some people say a lot of people will say virgo is good with their body but i think virgo is good with their body through practice through learning of course the the skill is already there with the body but they practice they learn they perfect it like gemini uh, virgo will be the one that, that's doing the dance routine over and over trying to perfect it gemini is the one where it comes naturally they are born with that dexterity whether it's in their hands their legs whatever it is gemini's are born with that dexterity that flexibility gemini's are just good alan iverson the crossover king motherfucking just was was a beast on the court with them crossovers gemini and he was fine as shit now alan i'm tall Allen Iverson is on the shorter end of basketball players. So I was never um, like head over heels for Allen Iverson like most women were. I mean, you guys remember back in the the, the early 2000s. It might have been the 90s because Allen Iverson older than me. He still looks good. I follow him on Instagram. But everybody loved Allen Iverson. It really was not one female that you would have met that was not in love with with Allen Iverson. That's just how fine people felt like Allen Iverson was. So that's Gemini. Let me look because I wrote a list this down. We're gonna go in and skip cancer. I ain't never met a cancer male I was attracted to ever that I know of. Actually, I have. I met one that was on the cusp. He was a 21st, so he was a cancer. I technically what I say with cusp 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 signs is it's really important i know that the sun goes into cancer on june the 21st but it's really important with cus- cuspers because to me a cusper is going to be they're going to take something from that previous sign or that sign that comes after depending on which cusp they're close to the beginning or the end of the sign so a cusper is is never just going to be one energy they're going to take on energies of that other sign that they're close to but to me i feel like technically you need to know the time a person was born to know their technical sign because the sun moves into cancer on the 21st but what time on the 21st did the sun move into cancer you know what i'm saying like did the sun move into cancer at 
12 o'clock p.m. on the 1st? Did it move into Cancer at 9 o'clock a.m. on the 21st? You know, I don't know. So sometimes I really think you need to know the time to really be specific with cuspers. But I have met a cusper, which makes sense. He was on a cusper Gemini, so I found him attractive. Still not nobody I drool over, but he was attractive. I was attracted to him. And maybe one other cancer, but at the time he had owned a store and he was older than me. I was probably like 21. He was 30 something. And I, it was just too old for me. And he wasn't nobody I would drool over anyway. Like he didn't get my sexual organs going. So no, I'm gonna skip over cancer. Leo. All right, Leo. I could make Leo long, but for the sake of not making this video too long, I'm gonna make Leo short. Leo's the bomb. They look good. I feel like, oh, I ain't gonna tell y'all. I'm going to save that for the next video. But there's no need for me to go into a long diatribe about Leo. I've had several Leo boyfriends. Um, Leos are very attractive body-wise to me, face-wise to me. They're just attractive. And I don't do women, but the women are as well. So that's really all I can say about Leo. If you guys listen to my other videos, you know I've had Leo boyfriends. Um, you know I've had Leo female friends. I rocks with the Leo. Yes, I'm attracted to Leos. I've met several Leo guys that I've dated in the past. It never worked out like beyond a year. That's You know how a year be your limit with some people. Like And they were, they were all young relationships. So re relationships that happened um, under 20 years old. And I think one I was talking to like in my early 20s. It was never sexual. It never went far. But yeah, we were talking. So for about a year. So I really, you know, like Leo's and keep that short and sweet. Leo is definitely on my list of signs I am personally most attracted to. Um, let's keep it moving. After Leo, we have Virgo. Eh, gonna have to skip Virgo. Um, there are attractive Virgos. Um, Nas, he's like the most attractive Virgo I've ever seen in life. Oh, mm. He's at a tie with Idris Elba because Idris Elba is a Virgo. He just married his wife, Sabrina DeHauer. I think she's Somalian. She's African and um, she's a Gemini. I always see Virgo and Gemini couples. Gemini is one of the few signs who is bullshit enough to deal with Virgo's bullshit. Go Gemini. You know what I mean? I don't know how you women do the, the Virgo men because, you know... I, I don't like to be mind fucked. You know? I don't like to be mind fucked. I don't like a person, you know, to point out all my weaknesses under the guise of trying to make you better. You know? <laughs> Y'all can have them Virgo men. And not that, to me, they're cool. I th of course, Virgos are always attracted to me. I'm a Cancer. I mean, I know you guys always hear Virgo and Cancer. If you're into astrology, they're always attracted to me. I like Virgos. We can be cool friends. We could be all good as homies. But no, we can't have anything more than that with any of the Virgos I've I've ever met. And other than Nas and Idris, there's only been one Virgo in my life. And I didn't even know he was a Virgo till recently that I've been really attracted to to where I say I would possibly mess with him. You know what I'm saying? So... And in all my years, that's the, all my 30 some years, that's the only Virgo I ever felt like that about that I know of. And I just think when it comes to, I think on the surface, just like compatibility, how they tell y'all earth with water, fire with air. When you're thinking about sun sign um, compatibility, Virgo and Je uh, Virgo and Cancer seem to make sense. But practically, when they get together, I don't think it does. I think Virgo... You know the earth signs, they could be harsh, judgmental, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's a little too much for um, cancer. And and Virgo is like the most critical, judgmental and harsh of them all. And I can speak from experience because although I've never dated a Virgo seriously, my ex uh, long term relationship, he has a Virgo moon and he was a Taurus. And I always would say, gosh, Tauruses are, are really critical, you know, and all of this stuff. And then after the fact, you know, did you go through a breakup and you try to see at the time I never studied his chart when we were together that seriously. But of course, my interest in astrology and what I could pursue my interest and really get into with the things that I enjoyed and was passionate about and really wanted to pursue because I'd always studied astrology but it was like surface level I never went deep 
deep into it. So once I started to do that and I look back like, okay, well, let's look at the patterns and look, you know, where you went wrong, what kind of person, just so you know what you're dealing with in the future. And I saw that his um, moon was a Virgo, which I knew before, but it didn't mean as much as to me as it did when I was reflecting back on that relationship. So he was a Virgo moon and very like critical and judgmental and things like that. Like, you know, a Virgo, some people like that. And that actually does help some people succeed and get ahead and be better. But some of us like it to come from a more tender, loving care point of view. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I said Gemini, they don't think all deep into the tender, loving care. So they can take that stuff from a Virgo. But Cancer and Virgo, no. So we're going to skip right on over Virgo. But there are some fine-ass Virgos out there. Nas and Idris Elba being like the top two ever. And for guys, I know Beyonce is probably like your number one. But I think what gives Beyonce that real sex appeal is that Scorpio. She's, I believe she is a Scorpio moon. So, um, moving on past Scorpio, bada boom, bada bing. You know, we got to talk about the Libra, the fine ass Libras. I'm going to say this. I'm going to make it quick because I got to get some gas and get the hell off here and get home. Libras, I've been sitting at this gas station. Libras is fine as shit. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no doubt in that. Ain't no, ain't no debate in that. You can't debate that. I would say equally, the men and the women Libras are fine. Me personally, I have never, and I don't know, probably because my whole family is Libras, like my immediate family is all Libras, and I get all of that energy from that end. I've never really met or dated a Libra out here in these streets. Actually, I did date a Libra for about a year. So as we still talk, like he's really cool. You know, a Libra always going to be a friend, a Libra keep in touch. I have dated a Libra, but as far as something serious with them, again, they coming after the sign of, of, of Virgo, you have to have a strong mind and be able to pull up, put up with a lot of bullshit to date a Libra. Because a Libra does come with a, cer- a certain level of bullshit that only a Leo can put up with. Or a Capricorn. Because a Capricorn will put up with all a Libra's bullshit and fucking love it till about five, ten years later. Um, Steve Harvey and his wife is Capricorn and Libra. And you can kind of see what I mean. And I think it works better that way. Um, I, I don't like the way it works sometimes when the Cap- Capricorn is the female and the Libra is a male. Because the Libra is going to use his partner to get ahead. That's why they, Leo is good for them. Because Leo likes to do, they like to, to take charge. They, likes to, they like to control their partner and relationships and back them up and direct them so that's really good for libra men because they need that from a woman they need a woman that's gonna guide them and back them up and just be his rock but for as far as you know another sign or like my sign dealing with that i don't i don't really that's not me i feel like i want a man to come to the to the table as a man have all this shit together you know and, and it's cool to build together and a person looking for somebody that can help him to get further but i like the idea okay and that's good if you young you just starting out you both kind of starting from the same place but once you get older you don't want no no builder bear type nigga you don't type man that's not what you want and a lot of times that's what libras are you know they looking to their partner to get ahead so i think it works a lot better when the capricorn is the male and the libra is the female like you see the way steve harvey takes care he's like totally smitten by marjorie harvey who is beautiful he's totally smitten by her and she is the true fucking libra she dressed her ass off. She's beautiful, even at her age. Well, she's not that old, but I mean, she's an older lady. She's got she's an older lady, mid about mid age. Beautiful woman. She gonna run Steve Pack. Steve gonna go broke just off her closet alone. He ain't gonna go broke off of nothing else but her clothes and shoes. Mm. That's what's gonna make him broke. Not her trips around the world. Not the cars. Not the houses. It's gonna be her clothes. And shoes that take him to the bank. So, you know, I feel like in a Capricorn is a provider. They are a business person. They're going to get ahead. They're going to work hard. So I just feel like that works better when the Capricorn is the male and the Libra is the female. Because men are supposed to take care of women. Fuck what y'all heard. I don't know what's going on in this generation. But y'all men out there, you are supposed to take care of your woman. 
So that's how I feel about Libra. Um, Will Smith is a Libra. I know most girls have had a, most women have thought that Will Smith was attractive. T.I. is a Libra. I had like the biggest crush. Wasn't in love, but had the biggest crush on T.I. when he came out. And, and a good example of the Cancer and Libra relationship is T.I. and Tiny. And I think he probably, you'd see the surgery she's gotten. I don't get it that it was always for her. I think she's trying to keep up with the Joneses. It's what people say about her. She's trying to be um, attractive. These people just pulled up in this either Land Rover Sprinter or Mercedes Benz Sprinter. And that bitch is tight as hell. Like, it's all blue or purple inside. Hmm. Nice. So, that's an example of Libra and Cancer relationship. And I already know. I don't know. I don't know. I possibly could do a Libra. He would just have to be a, a highly evolved Libra. So, that's just an example of that. And um, Jada uh, Jada is a Virgo and Will is a Libra, just in case you're wondering. And I, I know Libras, they get with Virgo a lot. Libra men, they get with Virgo women. Because Virgo, again, we just talked about Virgo will criticize you, make you better, help you get ahead. Virgo is a self-sacrificing sign as well. They're the sign of service. So, like, Cancers, Virgos, Pisces, you know, some of the service signs that really do put a lot into helping others. So, that's how Virgo virgo is so you will definitely see libra is a sign that needs to help whether it's a libra woman or the libra man they need somebody to take care of them and fund all of their ridiculous spending ventures you know not to say the libra ain't gonna make money like you look at will he make more than jada but he needs somebody that could still help him with that fund him with that and help him become bigger or whatever so after libra let's do